Hey there, it's that time of year again where everybody's messaging me asking what they should buy somebody for the holidays in regards to cameras, drones, games, and just tech stuff. So I'm gonna quickly go over my favorites and then go a little bit deeper. If you're gonna buy somebody a camera, get the Insta360 1R. If you're gonna buy somebody a drone, get them the DJI Mavic Air 2. If you're going to buy somebody anything, the best product you can get them for the holidays is the Oculus Quest 2. Let's get into it a little bit deeper in different price ranges. All right, let's talk about content creator accessories. First is this foldable phone tripod adapter. It's, first of all, it's aluminum. A lot of times you'll see a phone holder that's plastic and you stretch it out to, to fit on your phone, but this is aluminum, it folds up into your pocket, fold it out, has a little screw there, and then there's a little thread here on the bottom that you can put on any tripod that you have. This is a Joby Gorillapod, I've had this for years. There's two versions, there's a 3K version, which holds six and a half pounds, that's probably good for, for most people, and then there's a 5K version, they call 5K. Anyway, the 5K holds 11 pounds, that's like, what is that, almost $100 for the 5K one, this is the 5K one, and the 3K is around $48. So I would go for the 3K. Screw on this aluminum phone holder, and now you have a portable vlog machine, whatever, time lapse, I set this up for time lapses. It's great, this is a great kit for anybody that likes making content. If you're looking to spend a little more money, it's right here, DJI Osmo Mobile 4. It's around $150 right now. It is a gimbal, super smooth shots, great for realtors, real estate, or anybody that just, uh, even vloggers or any, any sort of content creator, and it stabilizes your footage with your phone. So this also has a phone holder and it's magnetized. You put it in the holder like that, and then you just snap it on there. Turn it on double click, you can change modes, and it holds it nice and steady. Awesome accessory for 150 bucks. In between shots, if you need to text somebody, you can just pull it off. It's a pretty strong magnet. Uh, I'm texting, hey, what's it, how's it going? How are you doing? And then boom, right back to content. Next, let's talk about audio. If you know somebody that has any sort of Apple products, iPhone, iPad, Mac, just get the, the AirPods Pro. These have been around for a little bit, a uh, year. Uh, they're still awesome and now they're going on sale so you can find these for about $200. You know somebody that flies often? These are amazing. The noise canceling, they have active noise canceling in them. You can't hear anybody. You can't hear the engine noise, you just disappear. But maybe you're not an iPhone user or maybe putting um, earbuds in your ears hurts after a couple minutes, it happens a lot these things these are the aftershocks aeropex well they're bone conducting headphones and they're awesome so i use these uh, after seeing some video editors use these a lot they just go in front of your ear like right there these are amazing comes in a cool case like this they last a long time you leave them on all day they never hurt uh, the inside of your ears 160 dollars right now best buy on amazon they come with two charging cables just in case you lose one all right, let's talk about some random gifts. This right here is the Amazon Echo Flex. This is new, I just saw it walking around. If you know somebody that already likes the ALEXA, this is one of those devices and it's really small, small speaker in there. It's great, it's only $10, that's why it's cool. It has a USB output on the bottom so you can use that to charge your phone or something like that next to the nightstand. Or you can just set this somewhere they have accessories for this like a motion activated light or uh, a motion sensor and you can make it do something when you walk by, like maybe turn on your Christmas tree. It has a 3.5 millimeter audio out. So for this $10 Echo device, uh, you can hook this up to your receiver. So let's say you already have a badass audio system and you're like, well, I don't want this little Amazon speaker. Um, you can plug this in, it will hear you and play back through your insane 7.1 DTS surround sound system. The other random thing I have suggested is a bidet. I don't have one here. Uh, it's because it's on the toilet. Look, maybe you're not on the bidet train. Shame on you. They're anywhere from $50 to $100 for the, like, the starter ones. Uh, I would go with Tushy. Look, maybe, maybe you're not ready to do it, so you gift it to somebody, then you make them try it out, and then 
you see if they freak out about it. They won't, trust me. They're gonna, they're gonna thank you for years. All right, let's knock this one out real quick. Let's talk about drones. There's the Mavic Mini 2, the Mavic Air 2, and the Mavic 2 Pro, which is this one, it's kind of old now. So if I were you, just flat out, I would get the Mavic Air 2. That's at $800. If you're not looking to spend that much on somebody or yourself, get the Mavic Mini 2. The only difference is 2.7K resolution versus 4, 4K resolution. The Air and the Mini are both very small. If I didn't have this right now, I would, I would definitely get the Mavic Air 2. This is the Mavic 2 Pro. That's double the price of the Mavic Air 2. Not, not worth it anymore. This is great. The sensor is amazing on here, but you don't need it. Get the Mavic Air 2, case closed. Now, if you don't want to spend that much money, you can go more to the toy route. So like maybe uh, I just want to play inside on Amazon for around $165. It's the Tiny Hawk RTF, which stands for a ready to fly FPV kit. And what is FPV? First person view. So you put goggles on and you can see with the little camera there on the front of the drone where you're flying. They're a lot of fun. That's what I would suggest to get. You should buy more batteries with it, by the way, if you decide to get that. But uh, yeah, get a little FPV drone. All right, some people are asking me, what about the new MacBooks? Uh, the MacBook Pro and the MacBook Air with the M1 chip. Bottom line, they're awesome. They're awesome for the price. If somebody needs a new laptop, you need a new laptop, get the MacBook uh, Pro or the MacBook Air with the M1 chip in it. That's all there is to say about that. Okay, let's talk about games. And this is probably the best gift you could get anybody for uh, this holiday season. It is the Oculus Quest 2. This thing is completely wireless VR, but it's $300, $299 for the basic version. They make a more expensive version that just comes with uh, extra storage, internal storage. Don't get it, you don't, you don't need it. Just get the 299 version. It's not just games, right? There's, there's uh, virtual reality movies that you can watch. There's like an international space station, you can float around space, you can learn. There's, there's all, this is for all ages. And when I tell people to buy this a lot, they're like, oh yeah, you know, I've done, you know, I've had a cardboard thing before where you put your phone, in. it's not the same. It's like saying, oh yeah, uh, cars are cool. I have a bicycle, not the same. Get the Oculus Quest 2, this is the best thing out there as a runner-up for like gaming stuff and we're talking about cool cool things uh mario kart live so for this you have to have a nintendo switch system which is either 300 dollars 299 or uh 199 this is one of the coolest things that's come out this this year what it is it is a remote control car with a camera on it that you can see you're playing the game and you see the camera and you do a track around your house inside and you you drive around your house your house is the track but very hard to get this is the coolest video game thing uh, i've seen All right, if you already have a switch go ahead and get this because it's a hundred dollars do not pay more than a hundred dollars for this thing there's scalpers out there they're jerks okay but if you have to buy a switch then it's two hundred dollars plus the, you know minimum just just get the oculus quest everybody asks me which dslr should i get somebody it's such a hard uh, question to answer, but if you want to know what I suggest right now, it's the Canon EOS RP kit. It's about $12.99. It's great. It's like a newer Canon camera. It, it's amazing. It does video, photos. It's great. Uh, and it uses uh, the new lens system. So I would do that. But what about GoPros? There's this new GoPro 9. and the, Okay, so let's talk about the GoPros real quick. The newest GoPro is a GoPro Hero 9. Don't get it, not worth it. Uh, find a GoPro Hero 8, right? So right now these are on, uh, there's some sale on Amazon, they're $280 or $230 refurbished. Go ahead and get the refurbished one. There's no problem with that. Save that money and uh, buy an extra battery if you want. The Hero 8 is amazing. Really, if you have a Hero 7 already, there's, no, there's not really a big reason to go to the Hero 8. If somebody's doing a lot of action sports or something like that and you want to get them an action camera, a better deal. GoPro, no more. Get this Insta360 1R. Now what is that? This is a 360 camera. See, two lenses. There's one on this side and one on this side. You just hold it out. It's the best thing ever. I've been using these for years. Uh, there is a newer one out, but it's, it's, it's more than $400. These right now, the Insta360 is $254 direct from their website. I use it snowboarding, 
uh, kiteboarding, just walking around, doing different content, Insta360, 1R, highly suggested. All right, that's the shortest I can make it. Of course, I don't go into everything and why I chose certain things. If you have any questions, leave a comment or message me and I'll go through all of it and answer any questions. But hopefully this kind of gives a, a blanket overview of what is going on right now in 2020 during the holidays.